fractions and percent relation. Whenever you have a fraction with 100 in denominator, you can write it as percent. Do you know that? I think you know, right? So for example, if it is 75 over 100, what can I say this is? We can say this is 75 percent, correct? How about 24, 25 over 100? It will be called 25 percent, right? And 20 over 100 will be 20 percent, correct? So that is how fractions and percent is related. Anything over 100, the numerator could be written as a percent. Percent. Do you get the idea? Percent. Cent is like 100, right? So percent is like two terms. Per and then cent. Per 100. Percent. That means per cent is 100 and read like this and understand like this. Per 100. So 25 per 100 is 25. Oh, it is 20. So 20 over 100 is 20 percent. Do you understand now? 10 over 100 will be 10 percent and 50 over 100 will be 50 percent. So that is how percent and fractions are related. On the other hand, if I write a number, let us say 1 over 10, then can you convert that into percent? The trick is, that you need to multiply denominator by a number so that it could be written as 100. So let's multiply both by 10. If we do that, what do we get? 1 times 10 is 10 and 10 times 10 is 100. So we get 10%. Do you see that? That is 10%. So this could be written as 10%. So that is how you can write almost any number as a percent. Do you see that? Now, let me try a few more. Let us say we have something over 5. And let me write here number 2 here. Something over 5. Now, 5 times what is 100? 20 cents, right? 5 times 20 will give me 100. So, we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 20. And then, what are we going to get? So, 2 times 2 is 4 and 10, 40. 5 times 2 is 10 and 10 means 100. So we get what? We get 40%. So that is the technique of writing fractions as person. Right? Let's try one more. So in that case, what we will have, let me have a number, which is, let us say, uh, 3 over 4. Now, how to write this as a person? You need to multiply 4 with some numbers so that you get 100. Well, 4 quarters, right, right? So 4 quarters will work. 4 into 25. 3 into 25 means 3 quarters. So 4 quarters is 100 and 3 quarters is 75. You get 75 over 100 or 75 percent. So that is how you can actually write fractions as percent even if they are not given over 100 as denominator, right? So that is quite interesting. So what you can do as an exercise is try to write some fractions as percent. And let me give you a few uh, as an exercise. So these are for you to do. So we'll have few with denominators. Let us say this one is half, right? Try to write this as percent. The next one, I'm using four in the denominator and I'm using here 1 out of 4. So write this as person. Then I'll use 5 as my denominator and a number. Here I will use 3. You write this as a person. Then what denominator 20, let me write a number 7 and with, with denominator 20, let me write a number 13 for example. So let that be an exercise for you. So we have half, 1 fourth, 3 over 5, 7 over 10 and 13 over 20. Can you convert them to, to what? To something over 100. If you can do that, you know that is person. So that is how we relate person and fractions. I hope that helps you. Thank you and all the best.